Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Pure Fish in Michigan. Got another steelhead video for you on the pier going after Lake Michigan Chrome. If you guys are interested in seeing my rig for these guys, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll be going over that as well. And if you guys could do me a huge favor, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video, leave me a comment, and share this video with a family member or friend that loves fishing as much as I do. Stay tuned. What do you think, Jeremiah? I think we're Need to tie, it, tie into one here pretty soon, huh? Unless Jeremiah, everybody. Special guest today. Still says the water is 65 degrees. Yeah. Doesn't feel like it though. That's why I'm a little I'm a little skeptical, but it is supposed to be taking a real-time reading, so. No, it's not. It's probably tangled. <sighs> Woo! Loosen the drag on those, would ya? Loosen it. Lefty Lucy, big time. Holy oh, that's a big mother. Hey, you grab the net. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Hell yeah. Yep. Actually, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> All right, ready? Try to, let's, yeah. it's in there. It's in there somewhere. You're gonna have to get that net way down in there and get it. Oh, dude, don't miss. Don't get the other hooks. Oh, yeah. Bro, I told you. <laughs> you called it too. Yep. Here, Here we got Take go. Take a picture. Here. You grab that nap, or uh... I don't know what kind of fish it is. Yeah, it's a tank. Steelhead. Oh, man. Dude, that's like a wall hanger right there. Ready? <laughs> Hold on. All right. All right, so I've got a couple questions on what kind of rig I use for pier fishing for summer run steelhead. So I'm just gonna kind of go through just a quick rundown and uh, hopefully this helps you guys get prepared for um, doing a similar style fishing. All right, so I have a, um, I think a 2000 to 3000 series reel will work. That is a 1.3 or 13 fishing Cree GT. Um, but again, Shimano, uh, Akuma, a lot of companies make um, really great reels. 
and they're affordable you know they're anywhere between say probably 65 and and 85 dollars which is pretty good for a, a, a decent uh large game fish reel so we're going to start off by spooling the reel with 15 to 20 pound braid okay so you can use any kind of braid that you like i use power pro but again i don't think it's a makes a big difference as, as far as what kind of line you use um the rod's 10 foot long so a 10 foot medium to medium light action rod will do and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the first thing on the braid we're going to send a barrel swivel through just on one side there so that there's an open um there's an open eye just kind of dangling there and you'll you'll kind of see what that's going to do here in a moment and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to thread on your float so here's the next part you're going to just thread a slip float onto your line and then after that you're going to tie on a barrel swivel um, with a snap now i like these because essentially i can have my rods rigged up and i tie a pyramid sinker on or uh sorry clip a pyramid sinker onto this um they already have like a little metal o-ring attached to the lead and you can get a two to four ounce sinker and then you don't have that sinker dangling around while you're traveling or walking to the pier i keep them in a tackle box again two to four ounce pyramid sinkers and i just kind of snap them uh, right here on the swivel snap when you're ready to start fishing okay now we're going to go back to the to the uh, barrel swivel and as you can see the barrel swivel is through the braid and then that little part of line or that that eye that we left on the side now has your um, fluorocarbon leader and here i just use eight to ten pound fluorocarbon and i send that all the way down to the business end, which is a Gamagatsu octopus circle hook. I just like these because I get a phenomenal uh, hook set on those fish. And then I tie a snell knot to the hook. Um, snell knot's the easiest for me and I have the most confidence in that one. You shouldn't get a lot of line breaks. If, if you're breaking off a lot of fish, then you gotta go back to your knots. I use a, a trilene or a fisherman's knot for the snap swivel and then on the barrel swivel here. Um, but I always snell the hooks. And you know, unless I make an error in terms of um, setting the drag and, and the fish just you know makes a run, I, I you typically only use an eight pound leader. So when you're, you know, when you're essentially fighting a, you know, a 10, 15, even 20 pound fish and you only have an eight pound leader, they make, you know, a fast um, break for it and your drag isn't set properly, then you're, you are going to break off fish. But if your drag is set to where they can easily take line, you shouldn't have an issue with losing fish. You may get tangled up if you're fishing with multiple rods, but you shouldn't lose too many fish. Um, any other questions, please comment below. I'm happy to answer. Um, but again, you know, just kind of a simple, quick, uh, rundown on this rig. You know, again, you, you cast out your pyramid sinkers attached to your swivel here, and then your bobber here will push the leader up to the top, the, the base of the leader up to the top, and then your shrimp night crawler or skein will just kind of flutter around in the current one tip i will give everybody if it's extremely windy um shrimp night crawlers and uh, skein are not very heavy so what i'll do is halfway between the start of the leader at the swivel and the hook i will attach right in the center here um a three yacht or smaller, maybe a, a BB size sinker. And then that will actually help the, uh, the swivel slide down to where the float is, but that's basically it. And then you set your drag loose enough. So, you know, the fish can get hooked, but if it makes a run, it'll still pull line. And, uh, you just try to get to the rod as quick as you can and, uh, tighten the drag up a little bit on it, set the hook and you're off to the races. All right. Again, any other questions, feel free to comment below, but that is 
in a nutshell, my pier fishing rig. Take care. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for today. Just got the one fish, but still a great day of fishing nonetheless. If you guys are interested in seeing more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop me a comment, and share this video with your family member or friends. Until next time. Thank you.